I came across the Immersed Bible Reading Experience when I was working with a church back east, and they are currently in year two of the three-year program, and they just really had great things to say about it. And on the leadership team, we've been talking about the discipleship pathway and about how we can get people more connected to each other, more connected to God, and this just really seemed like a good way to do that. I was interested in doing a different way. Uh, I have read through the Bible a number of times. Uh, I'm a little older than others, and I have read through, but I thought this seemed interesting. And I also um, want to support the church, and when they come up with a Bible reading program, I think that's terribly crucial, and I want to be part of it. I've been looking for something to get back to the roots of my faith my, that I've had my entire life and I wanted to try something new to get me back into the Word. And I really liked the format that it was presented in and the idea of having a conversation with fellow believers every week for both the accountability and also to see different perspectives of what we were reading. I decided to join this group after many attempts at trying to read the Bible in its entirety, uh, you know, starting from the beginning to the end, do a yearly program, and uh, long about two months into it, I usually fall off. And so I wanted to pick up that option again and decided to go with the Messiah and start there. And what I found was amazing. I was extremely motivated and uh, I found that the Holy Spirit was really working and really speaking to me. I was motivated to join an immersed group because for a couple of reasons. One is um, it had the ability for my husband and myself to come to a Bible study together. One of the things that I think Immerse does really well is encourage people to join these groups. They're not what we normally think of in terms of Bible studies. It's more of a conversation where it's approachable for anybody. You don't have to be an expert on the Bible. In fact, you can know nothing about the Bible and come and, and just talk about what you read. We have seen six to eight groups that formed up. We've seen over 60 people who have engaged in Messiah this fall and, and have read the New Testament in just two months. Well, I was just blessed by each week meeting with um, friends together to discuss this. Um, it was rich conversation and encourage, we were encouraging each other to you know, move on and, and persevere. Just those conversations every week made a huge difference to see, um, even if I wasn't caught up with my reading all the way, it was comfortable to still show up to group and um, talk about what we had read. And then if I went back to catch up, I could remember what other people said in the group. It offered so many different outlooks on both the word and on, in life in general about what people were experiencing in their lives that week and how they were connecting it to the scripture. One of the things that we looked at were the questions, and at the last question was, you know, how might this change the way you live? And application is so important. And so it hit me. I said, well, maybe we could take that as a challenge this week for our group. Wake up every morning and ask God, well, what do you want me to do today? And then we'll report back when we meet next week. But I said, but it worries me because, you know, I have a lot of commitments. I mean, does God know what my schedule is? <laughs> you know? Within a couple of hours at the end of the group, an acquaintance of mine that I know called and had had COVID for quite some time and was not recovering well and she needed help and some food. And I thought, well, it just turned out that that day I'd made a big pot of soup. So I, I can bring you a bunch of soup. And then it struck me because we had read that week, uh, it was Ephesians 2.10, that we're God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works that he has prepared in advance for us. I think I've grown in my faith just by seeing how God has worked in uh, the lives of the people in the group. Being able to be there and pray for each other has been a real faith builder. A second thing that really has stood out to me when I've been reading in Messiah is just how well the story unfolds and how I can really imagine myself in it. And there's another moment in the book of John where uh, Jesus is uh, praying for his disciples, but he says then that he's also praying for us. And I've read the book of John many times and I never saw that 
particular phrasing come out? I loved how the Gospel of John and the letters of John and the book of Revelation were all connected. I found that I could really relate to John and I felt the passion that he had and as many of the early Christians had. The thing I think I noticed the most was the mentions of the Holy Spirit or the Spirit in the Gospels. This way of looking at the Bible can bring new interpretation, new discoveries that maybe we haven't seen before. I think that's really powerful. And I, I've likened it to the difference between something I love doing is walking on a trail and how you see God's creation in uh, very different ways when you're on a trail and the earth is right below your feet, as opposed to this approach, which you could liken to taking a drive across the countryside. And it, you, you see the, the horizon and you, and you see the earth in a very different way than, than if you're on a trail. They're both equally important, uh, but God shows you different things uh, when you're going 50 miles an hour versus going two miles an hour. So in February, we're gonna start the second installment called Beginnings, and it covers the first five books of the Bible. And one of the things I'm really looking forward to is that I think we're gonna find that Jesus is present, not just in Messiah and in the New Testament, but he's present right from the very beginning. I think it's gonna be a really great way for us to see how things that happened at the beginning tie to what we just read, for example, in Revelation. And so I'm, I'm excited to see how that unfolds within these groups that are gonna be doing beginnings in February and March.